Yes, this is uh, the hatchet okay. adjournment penguin stream. There is no bright. Oh, go fuck yourself. They can hear yep. me, bitch. <laughs> there is no bright. This is our <laughs> channel now. I don't know why. You do not uh, recognize the bright in the yep. contact. It, 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 uh, from from now on, this channel will be nothing but Roblox Let's Plays. Oh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's what they. it's always been. What the fuck are you on? What? Oh, oh. yeah, true. <laughs> Anyway, okay, everybody, we have to start casting for a Roblox movie that's like really schlocky and mildly racist. What the fuck? No, oh, my... <laughs> no, oh, my... like microaggressions yeah. level racist. Not no, like... no, 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 no. Look, I know a lot of Roblox YouTubers are racist, but no. Anyway, no, thank you. Oh, no, I would no like... but we can at least appeal to the other side by doing a bunch of dumbass microaggressions. We know it's not that, but up, Joe we Biden. can appeal to them. Shut the fuck up, Joe Biden. Uh, excuse me, it's Dark Brandon. <laughs> oh my god. I don't anyway. understand the Brandon shit, I'm gonna be real. Anyway. Basically, well, sorry, just real quick, Bright. Um, basically, there, there was this guy, uh, who, who's a Democrat. Who at mm -hmm. one point showed up at a ball game, and his name was Brandon, and he was like publicly supporting Biden, and then a whole bunch of conservatives just started saying "Let's go, Brandon," in reference to Biden being dumb. But then Biden started to do some more based shit, so the internet came up with the idea of Dark Brandon. Dark Brandon is when Biden does something that's mildly good. Is it mildly good or like mildly he's not trying to take away people's basic human rights? It's a sad thing that those two aren't mutually exclusive. <laughs> anyway. Or are or are mutual I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's a sad thing that that's the bar we have to say, but set, but yes. I All would right. say Dark Brandon is Biden when he is actively trying to help people. Other than billionaires. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. This is always also, trying to help billionaires. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, Bright, fin final, final pit stop, because this is something I wanted to bring up on stream. What the fuck did you send me while I was on the pot? What I'm, I'm taking a goddamn shit, right? And then I just get this random message from Bright asking, uh... Are slugs divorced snails? What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck are you smoking? I was watching a, a video about r slash hold up, and that's one of the memes that popped up. Okay, but what I'm the fuck does that even? My proof that penguins evolved uh, from uh, humans evolved. That humans from evolved from penguins. Yeah. But 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 bright bright. What does that even mean? Are you saying that the snail shell? Is is there is there a partner? <laughs> because know. watch because if watch penguins prove be the worst stuff imaginable. But you see, oh, if so, that's if 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 that's the case, then this is basically like saying are apes just divorced monkeys in reference to their tails? <laughs> that's not, that's not proof. Penguin, that's not proof. Is that at the very <laughs> least not... vaguely scientific evidence? <laughs> no. Let's it's see. not Dumbo. a problem. It's not even said. evidence. <laughs> <laughs> did you just Photoshop this just now? Where the fuck did you get this image? <laughs> Anyways. Right, I insist, before the stream gets started, Major, we need to put this image up on stream. No, fuck you. I made it myself. I made it myself. Do it. Do it. I'm not Please. doing it. Go fuck yourself. Come on, Bright. Do it. Please, no. Ross. The internet needs to see Bright's... Or not Bright's. Penguin's creative genius. Well, Bright's, Bright's creation's creative genius. We are behind schedule. No. We're behind schedule. We're actually ahead of schedule. When you actually think about it, since we normally start at 9, we're actually extremely ahead of its schedule. Mm -hmm. Shush. Anyway. In other words, this whole hour should be nothing but dicking around, and then we get to the SCPs. No, fuck you. Anyway, I'm gonna say my, uh, getting memed, and I'll, 
uh, then I will go to reading SCPs. All right. Buy GTA 5. Steal a car. Shoot some guys up in a drive-by for no apparent reason. Run over some children. Rob a bank. Go home. Play GTA 5. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was a good Bye. bait and switch. No, that was actually <laughs> that was actually a good bait and switch because, like, my first instinct was going to go like, "There's not children in GTA." <laughs> that was going to be my response. <laughs> Oh my god. You weren't expecting that, were you, Hatchet? No shit, I reacted to it, didn't I? <laughs> Alright. Time for the first SCP of the night. Alright. Holy shit, this... Oh wait, this one has additional notes. Never mind. Oh, even with the additional notes, it's short as fuck. So I guess we get little information. All right. What's our number? Hmm? What was that, Hatchet? The number. What's our number? What's the number uh, of the SCP? SCP-1717. It is a disease of plants that occurs only when two factors conflict. SCP-1717-1 is an endogenous... Para, para, para retrovirus found in the genome of all members of the family fo, fo, Foke. When triggered, it induces the production of uh, P-O-A- P-O-A-C-E-A-E. Oh, mm, no. And with the SP's that. wiki's footnotes, okay. that word means the true grasses. Hmm. Hmm. So is there fake grass? Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, things like that get named like that because uh, a lot of times, like common names of certain species, are inaccurate to their actual genealogy. So, for instance, you have things like like when I say the word. Like, what's the first fish that comes to mind? Uh, something I would see in Bass Pro Shop symbol, that bass fish. Yeah, so so like a like a smallmouth, largemouth bass, maybe something like yeah. a rock bass. Yeah, those are sunfish. They're in the same family as like red breast sunfish. So there's a so there's what we call basses colloquially, and then there are the true basses, which are uh a completely different genus that are primarily saltwater. I think I think the most commonly fished true bass is like striped bass. I believe they're true bass. But hmm. yeah. So so there's a lot of things like that within taxonomy where like some guy finds a fish in a river and says, "This looks like a bass and it has a s small mouth. I shall name this the small mouth bass." And then later, people come in and are like, this thing is probably as far away diverged from bass as you can get while remaining in the, like, Artinitarigi, the ray fin fish. Yeah. Like, they're super distantly apart, but they have the same name. So now we have to work around it with taxonomy. It's kind of a pain in the ass, actually. <laughs> yep. It's the same with... uh. Oh, uh, what's the other one I know? Perches? There's, like, the majority of things that people call perch are not true perch. Damn. But anyway, yeah, that's, that's, All right. that's my little ramble about that. Alright. On, on back to that CP. Hmm. When triggered and induces the production of novel enzyme CCR, which degrades chlorophyll in, into an an analog molecule which is incapable of participating in photosynthesis, yet retains chlorophyll's color long after 
Sense of leaves and stems, grasses killed by CCR can unnoticed turn into green hay or straw when they stand. After a plant death, significant quantities of CCR are expressed in the endos endosperm with the seeds, seeds of affected plants as much as 0.8% by weight in rice species. Such spe seeds typically can germinate but shoot remain viable no longer than 21 days after germination. The flavor of affected grains is unchanged, therefore CCR can go undetected in the food supply. CCR can leach from the decaying plant material, not plant matter, sorry, into the soil and is robust enough to kill or injure several generations of plants before deteriorating to non-toxic byproducts. CCR has low or mild acute toxicity in animals and humans, however it accumulates readily in the liver and is toxic long term. Idiopathic Park Parkinsonism commonly develops within six months at acc accumulations over accumulation accumulations over 2500 milligrams accompanied by either ascites plural effusion or both at this stage without a liver transplant hepatic encephalopathy and death follow within weeks scp 1717-2 is an unknown substance that, that induces the expression of the SCP-1717-1 gene. To date, infections of SCP-1717 have been identified in 12 different species in three representative clads. 11 of the 12 are staple grains, including maize, rice, and wheat. And the 12th is a commonly foraged grass in the U.S. There is no evidence to refute the vulnerability of all Okay, to SCP-1717, the chemical tank recovered from the burned wreck of the Truxton Jackaroo involved in incident SCP-1717-1 Kappa and redacted would have contained no more than 80 liters if full. Within eight days after the incident, SCP-1717 was detected in 6,220 hectares hectares of wheat centered 12 kilometers from where the crop duster was fully intercepted. A 12 milligram sample recovered from the same tank contained no identifiable SV-1717-2, but is strongly suspected to comprise the byproducts from the breakdown of SV-1717-2 under intense heat. Notable in the presence of trace magnesium and arsenic. The Foundation's coroner's analysis of the remains of the pilot was inconclusive. Alternative forensics are underway. And that's it. Okay, so for one, this SCP really hated you with all the scientific terminology. Yes, it did. <laughs> Just get, give, give the lady that's known for not being able to pronounce things well nothing but Latin. <laughs> if if you want i can you can like send me the like like every single one you're like actually yeah i can like actually just like look them up while you're like reading them so i can like help you with them mm -hmm. and the right. future yeah. all right i would normally be doing that but i'm currently going through the mortal combat crypt that yeah. said um I would say that this is an easy uh, world changing mm -hmm. because ultimately this shit isn't going to destroy the world. It's not going to get rid of all humans, but this is basically the same uh, concept behind. Oh, hey, Jerry. There's the same yeah, basic concept it. behind the effects that come from any type of pollutant or of toxic shit getting into the environment. You're going to get biomagnification that can devastate ecosystems, but you know, li life has this tendency of finding a way, quote unquote, to where 
things that don't die will end up being able to evolve to handle this shit better. Like, honestly, this is just a run-of-the-mill really bad virus that's just anomalous and hard to detect. Yeah. So, like, I think world changing is appropriate because it, it would almost definitely, like, if this shit got really out there, like, on pen, on endemic or pandemic levels, it could absolutely change, like, the world's ecosystems irrevocably. But I don't think it's going to be causing any other things that we would normally talk about. Mm-hmm. It, it's, yeah, it's it's kind of like how eating certain foods now for us can become seriously harmful because pesticides accumulate within the foods and then can negatively affect us over the course of our lives. Oh, so. yeah. I might as well show you a picture of it. I'm just, all I'm going to say is it's picture. <laughs> it looks like a mixture of Photoshop and not Photoshop. I forgot the post and planning. There we go. The fuck? <laughs> That's it. Hi. Yeah, there's just like there's something mildly <laughs> off about this image. It's hard to place how. Yeah. <laughs> it just looks off. Everything's off in by that image. Yeah. It's All right. What's going on? I think something. I think, some things yeah. are on fire. It's really green. It also looks like in like the um the right side there's like a, a green statue, like a small green statue. Yeah. I was noticing that. It's yeah, literally irrelevant <clears throat> to the SCP. Yeah, like what's that doing there? <laughs> well, it didn't. To me, it doesn't look like a statue. It looks like uh like a being. Like some kind of being. Maybe that's just my... Yeah. <laughs> oh right. god, the plant disease has gained so, sentience. It's, 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 it's starting to develop like six ten is. Please wait, don't. Wait, would it count if like six ten has developed the ability to develop a church? Would that count as sentience? That would be sati- sapience. sapience. Yeah, I would say yeah. At it's that definitely... point, they would be sapient. It, it's some level of sapient, like, like high already, shit going on there. So it already, it already went past sentience a bit ago before that. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why I think it's probably the most terrifying virus in the SCP universe. <laughs> it ain't a virus, though. It oh, somehow right. jumped from... It somehow jumped from virus to fungus. Yeah, we don't know why. <laughs> like how I, my brain still hurts at that. We could have just <laughs> kept it as a, like, like I get that it makes a bit more sense as a fungus in retrospect, but we could have just kept it as a virus. Why? Why is it like, <laughs> I, like? Look, I get it. It's the SCP universe. Like suspension of disbelief isn't going to be the most helpful thing there is going to be pretty important there. But, like, come on. Yeah. Like, fungi and viruses are so unbelievably diverged taxonomically that this just hurts my brain to think about. Yeah, I posted the picture of the next SCP. What? It's just a fucking satellite in a white void. I'm gonna assume it's not it actually in a white void. So here's the thing, its nickname is Hijacked Space Probe. That's a that's a that's a that's a fire band name right there. Uh yeah that Oh wow. I mean I'm still gonna talk about it, but we won't really have to classify it. Oh, uh, is it already reclassified? Yeah, recently, uh to neutralized. Uh, oh. Oh. oh! Who broke the satellite? Give me names. <laughs> I demand blood. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see why it was a keter. All right. <clears throat> SCP-1720 is a lunar 
orbital probe formerly designated as Pioneer P-3 and launched by the United States on November 26, 1959. Officially, the launch vehicle suffered a malfunction approximately 45 seconds after launch and the payload was secretly destroyed. All data following this point has been redacted from public records and false files implanted in government files. During the launch of the probe, the vehicle was struck by an object of presumed extraterrestrial origin entering our atmosphere. From captured footage, the object appears to be no more than 11 centimeter in diameter, dark, irregularly shaped, and possibly crystalline in composition. Following the impact and loss of control, the probe managed to reach low Earth or orbit despite damage to its primary systems. For several weeks following the launch, Sporadic telemetry received by ground stations indicated that SCP-1720 was an erratic, constantly changing orbit consistent with periodic adjustments made via the probe's onboard propulsion systems. After extensive long-range observation, it was determined that not only was the probe acting independently, it appeared to be using its scientific inst instruments and onboard camera to perform directed study of the surface areas of the Earth, as well as the other orbiting satellites. Wait, so did someone just... So an alien species just hijacked the probe and just studying us? Oh. <laughs> oh, this is... I think I know what this is based on. What? There is... A uh, conspiracy. There is a like extraterrestrial conspiracy theory called the Black Knight satellite. It's basically the idea that there's some weird extraterrestrial black satellite that's going around in Earth's orbit studying us. The main picture for it was uh, a a piece of space debris that you can literally like like the main photo. Uh. Is, is one where you can literally watch video of the astronaut who accidentally dropped the reflective, uh, what is it, like a reflective uh, blanket that's like on the outside of the ships and satellites. Yeah, yeah he accidentally dropped mm -hmm. that. And then a, a, a photo of that, that we can watch that happen live photo of that was taken by conspiracy theorists and claimed to be the Black Knight satellite. Oh. It's oh really dumb and funny, but I think that's what this is aiming to replicate. Uh, Which, it, if so, is really fucking cool. Yeah. No, there are but what and hilarious reports. at the same time. Yeah, and now the question is what the fuck killed the Black Knight satellite? Yeah. That there are incidents reports, so we probably can find that out. Yeah. All right. First incident report on uh, March twenty first, nineteen sixty one. A close pass using a Soviet intelligence satellite was used to take detailed for photography of SCP seventeen twenty. During this pass, several anomalous events occurred. SCP seventeen twenty matched velocities and with and followed alongside the observing satellite for a distance of approximately 1,200 kilometers despite it being deemed impossible for the original propulsion system of Pioneer P-3 to perform such a precise maneuver. Extensive growth was observed originating from the impact hole in the side of SCP-1720, though the viewing angle did not permit detailed study this mass was observed to move and pulsate, suggesting that it may be of organic or biological composition. SCP-1720 circled around and studied the observing satellite before drawing away. Behavior consistently with curiosity, as no transmissions have been detected, that would suggest that SCP-1720 is being controlled externally. This suggests that it may be a living and possibly sentient entity. Second, second incident report. On May 11th, 1961, a directed transmission positively identified as originating from SCP-1720 was detected by U.S. satellite redacted. As the two objects were within 200 kilometers of each other, after several 
minutes of not receiving any response, SCP-1720 approached and made contact with the satellite before drawing away. The transmission was recorded and is now being analyzed. And telemetry from Redacted is being monitored for signs of unusual activity. Incident report three. Uh, telemetry. Oh, telemetry, whatever. Incident report. Yeah. In incident report three. Uh, wait. Incident report three. On uh, May 18th, 1961, contact was lost with Redacted. Observation from ground stations has confirmed that Redacted is now autonomous and is moving in tandem with SCP-1720 and has been designated SCP-1720-2. A proposal for reclassification to Keter is being sent up, to, up due to SCP-1720's potential for breach of secrecy and further comprom compromise of orbital assets. Research now. As of July 5th, 1961, SCP-1720 has been reclassified as Keter Level Extraterrestrial Threat by O5 Council Directive. Permission has been granted to attempt to use a prototype anti-satellite missile to disable or deorbit a SCP-1720 instance for testing purposes. All right, so hold on, that's one, two, three. All right, incident report four. An anti-satellite miss missile was launched at SCP-1720 on September 8th, 1961. All four instances of SCP-1720 not only managed to evade the missile, but somehow disabled and dismantled the weapon, then proceeded to integrate its components into themselves. Due to the continuing threat, to orbital assets, the upcoming United States Fishbowl series of high altitude nuclear tests is being co opted to deliver a high yield warhead in an attempt to neutralize SCP 1720 swarm. Fifth incident report on, on July 9th, 1962. The U.S. High Altitude Nuclear Test designated Starfish Prime was successfully deployed within 2 kilometers of the center of SCP-1720. Damage assessment is currently underway. Final Incident Report I mean... Following extensive obs observation of the fuse wreckage on several instances of SCP-1720 have been declared neutralized as if September 8, 1962, negotiations with the United States government regarding the unexpected high-intensity electromagnetic pulse and subsequent property damage as a result of boosted warhead yield is currently under discussion. So they just basically nuked it. You know what? You know what? I don't think I'm even upset with that. I mean, it, it, didn't, I, uh, it didn't even, like, we didn't even find any information, like, saying it was trying to be evil with what hostile. it was doing. Yeah, true. Yeah. For all it yeah. is, it just wanted friends. <laughs> yeah, I'd say Spood tier. Rest in peace, Black Knight Satellite. We'll be missed. Rest and piss. What the fuck? No, no, no. I will harm you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Technically, you would be resting in pieces, and I'm sad about that. Child, someday you will wake up and your toes will have been put into your liver. I don't have a liver Wait, or what? toes, so get fucked. If you don't have a liver, then you're dead. <laughs> All right. If you have, if you don't have toes, you can't walk. Yeah. Posting the next SCP picture walk. next. So, um, I think we're about to get into a cult. Hmm. <laughs> Which one? There's quite a few. I don't know. Well, Bright just 
sent the picture and said she oh, thinks uh, about getting into a cult. Yeah, that looks like a cult, like a bird cult. Bird <laughs> I can kind of see it. Those kind of look like bills. The yeah, cult of the that's... pelicans. Well, they <laughs> technically look like a beak design you would put on uh, hoods. So maybe a pelican, they look like... maybe a falcon. Mm. They look like things I can't say. No. What? I don't know. I don't know what, what, it, what you're thinking, but I know what? it's probably not the best. I don't well, know. yeah, it's since they can't uh, say it. Yeah. Safety. Uh, I when I look at it, I don't know why, but they kind of look like Russian dolls to me. You know, like yeah, that's kind of what I was up. feeling like, yeah. like Rabushka dolls. Yeah. <laughs> well, we are not putting cultists into each other like Russian nesting dolls. Oh Jesus! I mean, how do we? It could be. It could be that kind of cult. I mean, how do we know? Anyway. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, all right. Let's How see do we what know it's... what's going into other things. Yeah. All right. I want to see oh what his nickname is. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. This definitely sounds like a cult. Voice of the Light is its nickname. Hmm. That's a very generic name you've got there. A uh, very gay cult. <laughs> Oh, great. This SCP has a lot of redacteds. Oh, boy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. SCP-16... I mean, 1763. Uh, fuck. I keep... I, I had a dyslexic moving, moment, even though I'm not dyslexic. Are you... Oh, you just have I feel insulted, Bright. I'm sorry. I mixed up the numbers in my own mouth. Well, oh. yeah, but the... that's something else. That's something else. I'm sorry. That's okay. Just don't don't call it a dys dyslexic moment. I feel things when you say that. Right. I'm sorry. That's fine. The numbers just fumbled in my mouth and went in other directions. That that's called it. That's, I think that's called a mix-up. Yeah. All right. Right. Yes. right. That's called a brain fart. Everyone <laughs> has them. Shut up. Also, I am I am glad to announce that I cut the legs off of a wasp lady. Nice. All right. What? I'm playing I... Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Oh, a wasp lady. Anyway. All right. SCP seventeen thirty six. You don't want one. her to be your wife. And SCP-1736-2 designate two classes of human beings who are sh who share related and or complementary anomalous beliefs, behaviors, and properties. Okay, yeah, it's a cult. Yeah. <laughs> All instances of SCP-1736-1 and SCP-1736-2 share a common religion that bears strong similarities to Redacted. SCP-1736-1 fulfills the role of a, of a shaman or priest in this common religion, whereas instances of SCP-1736-2 fulfills the roles of followers or acolytes. The theological beliefs... Acolytes. Yeah, that... The theological beliefs that compromise mm -hmm. this religion feature a... a psionic... a deity... And its followers call upon to return and bring the universe out of darkness and ignorance. This deity is is most mm. often referred to as redacted or redacted. So is... everything. Oh my! <laughs> so all of the important information <laughs> is redacted. A fucking course it is. Ah yes. Uh, is, is is there anything on the Red vent? Thing that oh my gosh uh, it's still not done all right anyway scp 1736-1 will often give sermons in the voice of this deity transcriptions of this of these events often appear uh smart uh nonsensical but scp 1736-2 will accept any 
pronouncements of SB 1736-1 as literal gospel and incorporate them into the general belief system. This appears true to all SCP-1736-2 simultaneously regardless of their contact with SCP-1736-1 or each other. When SCP-1736-1 does this, SCP-1736-1 emits dangerously high levels of ionizing radiation measured as high as redacted, death within 48 to 72 hours for a typical human subject. Okay. Okay. Let's take a second and ask, why are we redacting the amount of radiation coming from the thing? Like, this just reads as the author being lazy and not wanting to look up, like, the amounts of, like, like how we measure radiation. Like, why, why would they feel the need to redact that? Why is that secret information? Because like, we can literally was... just, like, I can, like, there are literal fucking equations that I could do just right now to determine the amount of radiation coming off of literally any object. Like, Honestly, what... it's probably to try to make sure nobody tries to replicate anything or anything. Oh, yeah, but, like, we can just, like, it's it's an SCP document. The people that would be reading this would be less likely to want to do that and even then how the fuck do you replicate this like That's i just see their point like, i guess I seen... i'm just thinking about all the the special people lately who listen to not so reliable health suggestions oh god or people <laughs> who believe aids virus doesn't exist you know what those That's... all those people also exist wait those people i thought Oh no, I've there's, never heard there's, that. there's I, multiple organizations that believe AIDS virus and HIV don't exist. I've never heard that. I've heard like Christian nationalists saying that it was that it was a virus that was okay. brought down brought down to earth to punish the gays. Reagan oh, yeah. said that shit. No, what's but... actually funny is that out of the first organization of the AIDS virus thing, yeah, uh the head or uh, head of the organization the the woman and her child both died of the virus. Oh God! Also, yeah, but damn, they. If, oh, if... But they said it wasn't the virus; it was just natural causes. Also, uh, <laughs> natural causes. One nun who actually got AIDS from a blood transfusion, and the virginal nun, who was an old woman, died. Also, yeah. damn, if AIDS never existed, I guess I would still have my gr uh, great gay uncle still alive. What? Damn. Mm -hmm. damn. He died of AIDS. Oh, let's shit. Take, let's take a moment of silence to remember the child's everyone. great gay uncle. And everyone in general that died of that shit because the fucking government refused to do anything until people let's, were physically screaming at let's the top take, of their phones. Let's take another moment of not silence to collectively uh, envision the day that we will all get to collectively piss on Ronald Reagan's grave. <laughs> anyway. It's my Gotta... favorite activity every 4th well, of July. Penguin, I, I would like to correct you in saying technically they didn't do nothing. They didn't do anything when people screamed. They started doing something when they realized straight people were getting yeah. affected too. People yeah, were that's... screaming way before then. It's just like they're like, "Oh, oh, I forgot." I, it's oh, the gays. It's, it's yeah. not just gay people. The gays oh, are screaming. Help the straight people. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, the oh. all all of that is to say, uh, I would not recommend this. This is not an advocation to go do this, but it is theoretically. Morally correct to dig Reagan up again, or dig Reagan up and shoot him again. That I is do morally not think correct. That is legal for a number of reasons, but well, yeah, it's illegal, and that's why I'm saying no one should do it. I don't advocate for illegality. I'm just saying that it would be morally correct to do so. Yeah. Anyway, let's continue with this SCP. What were we talking about? Oh yeah. All right. I was having fun taking the piss out of Reagan, or rather putting the piss on Reagan. <laughs> right. 
This hazard does not oh apply to SCP-1736-2, who appear to be able to withstand arbitrary doses of radiation without suffering any adverse effects. Outside containment, SCP-1736-1 and SCP-1736-2 will periodically conjugate in public places such as parks, street corners, parking lots, shopping malls, and other such venues. Once conjugated, SCP-1736-1 will begin preaching to SCP-1736-2. During such an event, approximately 20% of SCP-1736-2 in attendance will attempt to persuade passersby to come and listen to SCP-1736-1, using language such as, Come. He brings enlightenment. <laughs> Shut up, dragon. <laughs> Right. You should not have paused there. How did you pause? <laughs> <laughs> you had no re you had no reason you to know, pause there. One... Yeah. I would love to say I can blame them, but I really can't. I I don't know what to say. Come bonk, bonk all of you. <laughs> Okay, well then why did you Bunk? pause there? Oh! Plunk the one who paused Bunk? after saying the word come. I was in touch. C-O-M-E to be clear. Why I did you pause the there? Gun? I was doing a track pause because I've seen people, cultists in like TV shows. They they talk like that. Oh, and it's, it's funny every time. Yeah, the, a part of what makes that humorous is because they sound like they're saying other things that they don't mean to be saying. Sh shut yeah, up. They sound like the, 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 the cult band ghost. Yes, I did not. And what their songs are you about? If you know, you All know, right, let's I just can't. continue on. Anyway. Let the Holy Ghost inside you. <laughs> oh my gosh! Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Be filled with the Holy Ghost, right? <laughs> Shut up. I'm going to end all of you. Anyway. All right, on to more what they said. He is here to lead us away from the darkness and redacted. An estimated 25% of the of non SP 1736 2 2 attendees. Of such a sermon will convert and become an instance of SCP-1736-2 themselves. The remaining audience will suffer from radiation sickness and a typical 50% mortality rate of or the initial month, increasing to 90% over the next redacted years. That's so fucking lazy. God. Upon the death of SCP-1736-1, some other apparently random instance of SCP-1736-2 will emit a short mm. burst of radiation and thereafter mm. fulfill the role of SCP-1736-1. Mm. As of this time, there are estimates that, that between redacted and redacted, SCP-1736-2 remain uncontained and at large. So they, that writer is so fucking lazy. Half of that shit that was redacted need, didn't need to be redacted. Yeah, it's just... It does have a low like, rating. Yeah, yeah I wonder it's why. It's similar to how, like, I've seen, like... I, it's, it's like a good concept, like an interesting mm -hmm. concept, but they just didn't want to go the extra mile to make it feel genuine. I mean, yeah. kind of like... Dad. Like, one of the... Like, there was one... I can't remember which SCP it was... But, like, uh, the Volgan read it out, and he even at the end mentioned, like, there's no need to be doing this much redaction when you're writing your files, people. Like, they, they redacted the D-class numbers. Why? <laughs> Spam on your keyboard and get, like, the numbers, like... Yeah, literally all you feasibly, feasibly need to do is put d dash just mash your fingers on the keyboard. Like, that's all like you have to on do. The keyboard. Yeah, like, like that's let, all let, you have to do. Did you hear what I did? You could have made this the SCP better. Did you did hear I what see... I did? Yeah, I did hatch it. Oh yeah, I heard. I heard you. <laughs> <laughs> you just punched your keyboard. Yeah. Okay. That's a mate, right? Why would you abuse your keyboard? <laughs> 
Test there log. are addendums. There's three addendums. Test log SCP XXX. Wait, no, that's not. That's not what. That sounded bad. Like X as in, don't know what character yeah. to put there. Uh, SCP redact SCP redacted log or test log. D D class fist punch. <laughs> that's it. That's oh. all you have to do. Yeah. Anyway, would you like to hear the addendums, or are we decide on what to do with it? Um. I mean, we could hear more, but I'm pretty, pretty convinced of where this would go. All right. Yeah, in the lazy class. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, uh... we're not ranking. We're not ranking these files based upon the author's effort. All right. So. Interview log twenty-seven. Uh, Ig, tell me about it, Doctor Kennerman. Doctor Redacted. He contacted me after the Redacted incident. A post-incident debriefing. Yes. If you didn't find it odd at all, he was from a completely different department. After being mind-controlled by some extra-dimensional entity, Protocol wasn't high on my list of concerns. He was a level 4. He had the right forms. Who was I to question why? What was the focus of the debriefing? He was interested in any spiritual side effects. Interview number 52. IG. SCP-3... 19. Is an alpha-level Keter? Didn't Dr. Kinnaman's inquiry raise any security concerns? Dr. Redacted. Not really. The request was just for paperwork and records for some historical import. I'd be different if he had request, requested access to the skip itself or even monitoring the containment records. But all he asked about were the text of the journals we recovered with it. So you just handed over all of the Lawhead Smith journals? Well, we didn't just hand them over. We ran them past site security before we sent uh, past miles and the determination was that there was no no there was nothing critical in them. What I find funny about this redacted doctor is that it, they didn't cover up the full name, like, the first letter is still visible, and it's an R. Oh. <laughs> oh. Dr. Radler, what'd you do? What'd you no! do, Jerry? Jerry! <laughs> no! <laughs> what did you do? There are other doctors in the SCP universe! <laughs> Radler, no. did, you, did you skimp out on security protocols? <laughs> it's okay. Oh, come on. You're, you're all friends here. Anyway. It was a different doctor whose name starts with R. Besides, <laughs> it's my last name that starts with R. <laughs> All right. Final interview, number 98. IG. Dr. Kinnerman made a, a significant number of requests from other departments, didn't he? Dr. Uh, Mr. Redacted. Yes, he did. Oh, I don't have the goodness. exact figures here, but... Near the end, dozens. Did you find these requests unusual? I've worked at the Foundation for 30 years. Unusual is a pretty high bar around here. Pretty much all the requests were just for research notes, historical documents, interview logs, nothing remotely eyebrow-raising. But more than was typical. Typical isn't a word I'd use about our research staff, but yes, more than average. And all these requests were in relation to a fairly limited population of skips, weren't they? He he was the project head for SCP-719, and he believed those other artifacts were all related to it. I wasn't privy into the research, but I remember him saying that someone with contact with SCP-286 had founded the cult that was worshipping SCP-719. All these related skips was SCP-1, uh, 1127, one of them. SCP-1127, I can't say I recall that one. 
That's the end of the interviews. Wait, what's that other SCP they're referencing? Like skits? Uh, hold on, let me see. I can open this on a new tab. The safe class entity. It's a series of short films. So, not much problem. It's just 20 minutes after exposure and contest. It's a series for effect. Each, each film that does a different effect to the viewer. The first one. The first film will consider it to be the most humorous thing people will ever see. And apparently. <laughs> One D-class subject had to be physically restrained when shown an episode of Monty Python's Flying Circus after exposure. What? <laughs> so far, it doesn't look like these do anything... The first film just makes you uh, think that ev everything but the film itself is no longer humorous and offensive. The second one makes you lose uh, interest and mo emotional connections to things. The third one does... Uh, they say it says, personnel dislike any object that has been machine processed or otherwise ma manufactured. And the final film, I can't even say. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh no! Is it because it's in French or some shit, or because it's I am child here? You are child. <laughs> God damn it! Oh no! Uh <laughs> Ah, so in other words, the other film is something like the way that Bright treated this article. <laughs> I'll go on Bethan real quick. No, oh. you don't have to. Oh, god damn it. They get horny. Uh, let's see. Oh! Let's okay. see, in parentheses is sadomasochism, coprophagia, aquanomophilia, partialism, cosmophilia, mesophilia, Voyeurism, exhibitionism, and asphyxiophilia and susat sadism, as well as biosophilia, uh, the P word, necrophilia, polynophilia, and phorophilia. So it basically just gives you a bunch of philias. Pretty sure one of those was attraction to shit. Pretty sure corpophilia is it's it's feeling attracted to shit or people shitting. Uh I know like this I don't like this. The zoo one was about animals. I know that. Oh yeah, zoophilia. Yeah. Well it says zoo like sadism. So wait, if zoophilia is yeah, zoo sadism. So does that even worse is zoophilia? I'm guessing it's a trap. Attraction to the suffering of animals. Let me look this up. Zoo sadism. Zoo sadist evidence? What the fuck <laughs> is that first suggestion? Zoo sadist. Zoo sadism is pleasure derived from cruelty to the animals. Yeah, so. Uh, there's actually one I don't know. It is voyeurism? Voyeurism? That's just get, get, getting off of watching other people do things. Oh, I thought it was about something with Vor. No, no, no. <laughs> it, it's basically the other end of uh, exhibitionism. Exhibitionism, you want to be seen. Voyeurism, you want to see. So, like, the last video, it just makes you extremely horny. And, kind of, yeah, it gives you a whole bunch of questionable philias that you'll probably need to take up with your therapist yeah to safely deal with like yeah zoo, zoo sadism is 
like one of those things that's like um wait there's actually uh, there's actually two other ones i don't know uh plismophilia and mysophilia uh spelling k l i s m a philia should I deafen myself until the... Oh, the yeah, floor? Jerry, go ahead if if you don't feel oh, yeah, uncomfortable. That's fair. I, um, I, we'll message... Oh, okay, never mind. No. Hold on. It's yeah. getting off to enemas. Oh. Uh, it's getting off to having water sh splodged up your ass. Uh, Mysophilia. The other one. M-Y-S-O-Philia. Misophilia. I'm guessing this is the hatred, or I'm guessing this is, uh, no, not misophobia, misophilia. I'm guessing this is sexual pleasure derived from, uh, being hated. Or the yeah. Oh, abnormal attraction to filth. What? <laughs> Misophilia, a sexual dependency on something soiled or filthy, using a kind of undergarment after use. Uh, okay, so we now uh, know what SCP-1127 uh, is. Even though it's safe, it's disturbing. <laughs> I don't like this. Let's, Keep, let's, let's just lock those away. Yeah. Let's just... Alright, we're done let's... talking about it, so I'll, I'll ping them. That that was, well, yeah, that's an interesting SCP. Now but we wait for them to return. Yeah, that's... I hope we didn't trigger J Jerry too bad. Right. Next is Addendum Two, which oh, is. Oh God. A... Yeah, we're waiting on yeah. Jerry. Yeah. Yeah. Addendum Two is Should... incident report, and. Well, are you gonna wait before? Yeah. I'm not going to say it, I'm just going to say what's, what we're going to bring next. And Addendum 3 I mean, is a point, message from the O5 Council. Oh, um, now that's kind of interesting, but also I feel like we know enough about this SCP. So you think we should just mm -hmm. register it? Yeah, just yeah. stop talking kinda, about it. I kind of want to know Well, the, like, uh, this isn't the one letter. that we had to deafen people for. This is the cult yeah. we're back on to. Okay. But, I want to... I want to know what the O5 letter is, though. There it's over. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, we're, I, we're just I gonna... regret my curiosity. Yeah. <laughs> we're just going to read the O5 letter, then decide. Yeah. All right. What the fuck is up with my... What the fuck is this? What is... There is... Are you okay? Do I... Have like an ankle bunion? How the fuck did that happen? I don't what? know. Actually. There's like a hard protrusion, like right next to my heel. Ouch! On my ankle. It doesn't hurt. It's just like I noticed it just now. It's like it feels similar to like the bit of bone that you can feel at the side of your foot. Yeah. Like oh, at the joint. I forgot to make this during the, uh, the stream. Uh, I'll be doing a subathon f for. Uh, starting on the 21st, mainly because, uh, due to the change of shifts for me, I won't be working again until the 29th, after the, after the 17th. Oh! So that's way over a week wow. of no work. Well, okay. on the bright side, you'll at least be around Great. for my birthday. Oh, yeah. I, I will definitely <laughs> join in, like, it just uh, like message me what day it is. Uh, my birthday is the twenty seventh. The twenty seventh. Oh, okay. So the slight bright side, but yeah, that sucks. Yeah. But so, yeah. We'll have to. We'll have to do a big Among Us slash card stream for my birthday. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll fit that around. <laughs> And I'm going to endeavor to get done with my fish deck before then. I haven't Got even it. started it. All right. My birthday must be nothing but fish car. 
<laughs> Ooh, gl oh, wait, no, I can't say that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. no. Hell no. I, I caught myself. Hell no. I caught myself. I caught that would not be look. One. It sounded like you got it. One, that like would not someone. be in. Okay, now so, I'm tempted to just one, add that it wouldn't the be fuck of it. <laughs> no. I hate you people. No, I don't hate you people. I hate you, Bright. <laughs> anyway, time to read the O5 letter. Okay. Distinguished council members, I am bringing you the conclusion of 12 months of investigation by the Inspector General's office into the disappearance of Dr. Jeff Kinnerman in a subsequent appearance of SCP-1736. It is the opinion of the IG that these two events are indeed linked and you all have a copy of our report. 1,500 pages of interviews, documents, and evidence supporting that conclusion. It is our conclusion that Dr. Jeff Kinnerman, under no duress, com compulsion, or obvious abnormal influence, began a path of research intending to recover and document a proto-religion associated with a number of SCPs related to SCP-719. Dr. Kinnerman's behavior subsequent to the start of this research leads to the conclusion that, at some point, his academic interests turned into the actual belief, and his efforts turned from recovery of this religion to its recreation. Aided by his complacency of our staff, the chain of command, and the morass of bureaucracy we've constructed, he was able to act with relative impunity. His ability to amass such research material without anyone questioning him was a colossal failure of security. It is the opinion of the IG that Dr. Jeff Kennerman created a Keter level SCP and walked out of the building with it in his pocket. Note, the DVD recording created by Dr. Kennerman is tentatively designated SCP-1736-0 and, and its recovery is of paramount importance. Dash 05 redacted. That's the 05 okay. letter. And you see, here's the thing. This is, once again, an extremely creative SCP. I like this SCP. But my brain fixates on the tiny little bits of fucking laziness. <laughs> like, you went so far with a good SCP, a good idea. Why did you not take the time to just look up how we how we measure radiation it's not that hard wait so mm -hmm. you remember how it said the religion was based around 719 yeah all right i'm gonna take a picture and you're gonna see what 719 is oh god no please no oh no no it's actually uh, really funny oh okay 719 isn't the thing we just talked about in relation No, no, to no, 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 no. That was like 1179. Okay. Uh. Come on. Discord. Thank you. So, so many Latin... <laughs> <laughs> That's 719. Uh, um... Uh. <laughs> it's just <laughs> it's an old TV with a cartoon dog and what looks to be a printer on it yeah why <laughs> why is the image so bad <laughs> that's the funny thing is that's actually the article's picture <laughs> oh okay so either way, with the with the cult SCP, um, God, now I cannot stop fixating on this bump on my ankle. What the fuck is this? Anyway, here's yeah. Hatchet. Um, um, uh, there's a bump on my ankle. No, um, I would put this, uh. 
I don't know where I would put this. I don't... Did it even... S I mean, I know what it said it was like radiation or whatever. But it, so much was redacted, so we can't really tell how dangerous it is. Well, no, it's pretty clear, like, the levels of danger that it has. It's, right. It's... Yeah, it, it's dangerous it, enough that it's redacted. Well, so. th those danger levels are commonly just radiation levels, but um, mm. the the thing that was going on is, uh, you know, we got this weird ass cult that has these uh random bits of gospel that show up, and you have people that go out and preach the word of this gospel, and you'll have people who are already in the cult gather to listen to the gospel as well as grabbing like encouraging people to come and listen in so basic mm -hmm. like street uh street evangelism stuff but 50 percent of the people who listen will become cult members and 50 percent of them will get radiation poisoning <laughs> yeah oh so, you're poisoned so Only? so if so if that happens, you either join the cult or you die one of the most painful deaths imaginable. And anyone who's affected by this is going to end up affected by it. How do you I, avoid this cult, though? That's the question. I want to I become would... a cultist, but you die anyway as a radiation poisoning. Is that possible? Oh uh, no! It it, it a... said it said that the cult members are immune to radiation, to the radiation effects of the so other cult stuff. So can you decide stuffs. to become a cult leader? I mean, I don't know. It's not cult leader. It's just cult member. Or not cult leader. Uh -huh. You know what I? Just... I think the cult leader stays the same. Yeah. Either way, yeah, um, member. given all of that, um, I would say that this could easily. My first instinct is country or continent. I don't think this is going to destroy the world, but it could do some serious yeah. damage. Like serious damage to like the population. Especially since shit. radiation takes a long time to like clear up. If you survive at all, yeah. Yeah. That's the annoying thing. They've redacted how like the average of how long someone lives after the event. Why are you redacting that information? Come on. Right. Maybe they like just that would really... actually be useful. Yeah. Oh no. Here's 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 my idea. They redacted that information because if you knew how long after the event the person died, you could get a rough estimate as to how much radiation they were exposed to, and they didn't want to give an estimate on the radiation count, so they also redacted that, so they have to redact the ages, so they don't have to think about you radiation. Like a conspiracy theorist, Hatchet. <laughs> yeah, conspiracy <laughs> against redacted. <laughs> it's, it's, it's even, this isn't listen, a conspiracy listen, theory, though. Listen, listen. There are, two, there are two things, okay? Let's use Occam's Razor. On, on this bitch, okay? There are two possibilities. Either A, he avoided the date setting so that no one could go back and check how much radiation it is, or B, he's just fucking lazy, and I'm choosing the first one. Are you okay? No! Do you want to talk about it? I can't talk about it. My brain cells are dying from what we talked about when you were when you were deafened. The thing is, I think I'm leaning more to, uh... I'm gonna guess the French. To country than continent because this SCP has been put on o radar like they want it got stopped that means my... it's probably not gonna spread very well from now on yeah i guess my biggest uh thought on that is there is the potential of someone slipping under the radar and that person could easily go cross borders yeah and like spread the gospel mm -hmm. and yeah spread spread the yucky gospel and on un, un... sorry, I was reminding me of that song. <laughs> but uh that's okay. What's like I don't know, yeah, like I'm hovering between continent and country because I think in all actual actuality it'll stay where it is thanks to the SCP uh foundation. But at the same time, there is that chance that 
I, like one or two of those guys that do the evangelism events flips under the radar, goes to a different country. And let's say that they happen to go to a country that has less monitoring, like rural Africa. Like, yeah, there's like there could be some really, really bad consequences there. Oh, yeah. And I say rural Africa because, granted, I don't know for sure, but I'd be willing to guess that the SCP Foundation running largely off of a currently capitalistic society would have less infrastructure to study anomalies that are based in Africa, i.e. they will look into events at a slower rate and have less success in finding events. Wouldn't that depend on the country in Africa? That that's why I said rural Africa. Like I'm think I'm thinking the particularly poor African countries, like like South Africa, Egypt. Uh, those places are probably going to have very fast SCP responses. But once we get inward, like Uganda, Ethiopia, uh, yeah. those really rural countries that got just completely fucked over by colonialism, I think those are the countries where this could spread the most and under SCP's radar. Okay. <laughs> so point being I don't fucking know <laughs> I'm leaning it more onto country what is everyone else saying country is probably the bet the like yeah. safest bet yeah there needs to be like a multiple countries option <laughs> it's like I don't yeah, think this would span to the size of a full continent but well, like, Australia. Country simply because it's well, under the radar and it's less let and it doesn't seem likely that it will head to one of those rural countries. That's true. I, mean, I am it's largely good, basing it. It's on very speaking. unlikely it will at this point. Yeah. It's so, too late for it. Wait, yeah, let's let's I just realized something. If the SCP Foundation really wanted this to be stopped, why didn't they just contact the GOC? <laughs> Maybe they didn't want it to stop. Well, just or remember you know that... they they are not the on the, always on the best of terms with the GOC because the GOC can be a little trigger happy. Yeah, yeah. like may, may, maybe if you're wanting to get rid of an issue, you don't turn to the guys that fucked up the chair for no reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think whenever people think of the GOC, they typically think of that poor, poor chair. I mean, I've never, I never thought chair. you could have a chair of PTSD, but then the G. The GOC is like, yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the, (laughs) like, like, we've got one of those meme formats, uh, like, like, we've got nobody. I bet you can't get, like, yeah, nobody. I bet you, I bet you can't give a chair PTSD. The GOC, (laughs) try me. (laughs) No, No, they're just bet. Yeah, I'm gonna write this out now. (laughs) 